Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. It is time once again for my full week preview where I just kind of go through every single college football game, talk about them for a little bit, and we really kind of get the current landscape of how the week is going to go. What are the best games at noon, 3.30, 8 o'clock, the time windows. The first game we have this week is a Thursday nighter. We got one Thursday night game. Is this on ESPN? Where do you, yes, it is on ESPN. 8 o'clock, Ohio at Louisiana. We remember Louisiana was ranked. They lost to Texas. That loss looks even worse. Now, how about 86 degrees? That's another thing I'll be doing. I always look at the weather. Weather has such an impact on the game. 86 degrees and some thunderstorms. Oh my goodness, in Louisiana, that's crazy. Moving on, Friday night, this is an ESPN game, really good game, UCF at Louisville, uh, 89 degrees, partly cloudy, mostly sunny, you're going to get a very nice sunset there in Kentucky, should be a great game, UCF, seven point favorites, and Dylan Gabriel, that high powered offense, that'll be interesting, going into Louisville. Louisville back on track last week after suffering that dis disappointing week one loss to Old Miss. Moving on, we've got another Friday night game. How about Maryland at Illinois? You know, I love Tua's younger brother. He's a really good quarterback for Maryland. Maryland, Jarrett, the receivers. They've got great receivers, great skill position, good position players. Seven and a half point favorites on the road, taking on the Fighting Illini in Champaign. 84 degrees. Partly cloudy, 9 o'clock though, so it's going to be, maybe you'll, you'll see the moon, maybe it'll be a little clear, we'll have to see, you'll see some stars there in Champaign. Moving on, Saturday, the early window, so the first game's noon, we've got Nebraska at Oklahoma, which is actually a, 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 an 11 a.m. local time start there in Norman, Oklahoma, massive favorites over Nebraska, no weather for this one, no weather, that's interesting, uh, that game is on Fox, another noon game. We've got New Mexico at Texas A&M, who is currently ranked 7th. I think they're very overranked. They barely beat Colorado last week. Texas A&M, 29.5 point favorites, 91 degrees in College Station. It's going to be a hot one, guys. It's going to be a hot one. Uh, another 12 o'clock start. Cincinnati ranked 8th. They will be going on the road, taking on Indiana. Cincinnati, only a 4 point favorites. Uh, on the road, you know, you would think the number eight team facing an unranked team, they'd be more heavily favored. Only four point favorites, 86 degrees in Bloomington. This is a huge game for both programs. Cincinnati, you're trying to prove yourself. You're trying to say, you know, we're here. We're a clear top ten team. You know, Indiana was had some high expectations before the season started. I had one of, I had them as one of my most overrated teams, and then they got destroyed by Iowa, and that really knocked the wind out of their sails. But this is a huge game for Indiana too. I mean, this is their game to prove that they actually are a legit good team. That Iowa lost was just a week one fluke on the road, and it turns out Iowa's actually a really good team. So big game there, Re you know, close line as well. Another noon start, we've got Virginia Tech at West Virginia. Kind of a sneaky good game. How about this one? The number 15 team in the nation, three-point underdogs at an unranked team. I'd be very curious on the weather for that one in Morgantown. They don't have it updated, unfortunately. That'll be a good game, though. What is that on? FS1. How about that? FS1. Coastal Carolina at Buffalo. Oh, this is the game that I love, and I love Buffalo in an upset here. Coastal Carolina has not impressed me at all. You know, you you know, if you're the number 16 team in the in the nation, you should be beating Kansas 59 to seven. They're allowing touchdowns to Kansas in the first half. I'm not buying Coastal Carolina this year. Preseason, I had Buffalo. My one of my bold predictions was that Buffalo would upset Coastal Carolina week three. They're 14 point underdogs. I love Buffalo plus 14. We'll have to see if they can get the upset. Another good noon game. This one on ABC. Michigan State taking on the U. Huge game for the Big Ten. Huge game. If Michigan State can win this game, they'll be ranked. It'll knock Miami out of being ranked. That's a huge game. It's going to be a hot one in Miami. 91 degrees. Looks like we got a little bit of cloud coverage. Mainly sun, though. That'll be very nice there. You got to be worried about those thunderstorms this time of year in uh, it, you know, in Miami and places around Florida, but looks like it's going to be sunny for that one. We've got Northern Illinois taking on the University of Michigan. Michigan debuting in the AP poll at number 25 after their big win last week in the maze out against Washington. Ann Arbor, 83 degrees, partly cloudy. I'm expecting a big Michigan win here. They're 27-point favorites. How about Chattanooga? 
at the University of Kentucky in Lexington, 82 degrees. Looks like mostly cloudy in that one. More cloud coverage there in Kentucky when it comes to Saturday. You guys want to watch that game, tune in to ESPN+. Plus. I, sh- I don't have ESPN+, Plus, but if you want to watch it. How about Southeast Missouri State? They're going to be traveling to Missouri and taking on uh, the Tigers of Missouri in Columbia. 90 degrees, clear skies, ESPN+, Plus. be there. Another noon game, Tennessee Tech. Oh my goodness, at the University of Tennessee. A rivalry, a rivalry, folks. Knoxville, Tennessee, thunderstorms, 85 degrees. Watch out. There's no line on this one. I would probably say Tennessee minus 33. Tennessee Tech, they, they're FCS. They have to be. Yeah, they're FCS. Another noon start time, we've got Western Michigan. I hate that logo. They had such a sweet logo. They want Washington football team on us with this terrible logo. Western Michigan at Pittsburgh. What a start to the year Pitt's had. I think they should be ranked. I think they're better than Miami personally. They're 15-point favorites at home. Heinz Field. You'd love if they could build their own stadium maybe. Come on, folks. 83 degrees. Mostly, mostly cloudy. Mostly cloudy in that one. How about Kenny Pickett? Four touchdowns on the year. You love seeing it. Noon start time. Albany at Syracuse. That's in the Carrier Dome, so we're not going to be seeing any weather there. Syracuse, disappointing loss last week. They're going to look to get back on track against an FCS school. ACC Network exclusive for for that one. Uh, Another noon start time. We've got Boston College at Temple. This is a good game. Yes, I love games like this. Boston College. 16-point favorites that will be played at Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles. And then the Eagles will have their home opener on Sunday. So that's going to be a very busy stadium. Boston College, really good young team. We'll have to see if they're able to beat Temple, who's kind of who hasn't been very good this year. Boston College, 16-point favorites, mostly cloudy. A little bit of sun maybe sprinkled in there. You never know with uh, Philadelphia there, 84 degrees. And then our final noon game in the noon window, it is UConn. Take it on, Army. UConn, perhaps the worst FBS school in college football. It's either them or Akron. Army, 30-point favorites. West Point, New York, 79 degrees. You're getting a little bit more mild. We hate. I don't like these 80-degree games, so we get a 79-degree game. And then we get mostly cloudy in that one. How about CBS Network? I don't think I have that, unfortunately. 1 o'clock start time... Tw- 1 o'clock start time on Pac-12 Network. How about this game? Minnesota at Colorado. That's an 11 a.m. local start time in Boulder, Colorado. 87 degrees. My goodness. Colorado 2.5 point favorites. Huge game for the Big Ten. Huge game for the Big Ten. And also a big game for the Pac-12. Whoever wins this one. It, you know, it's it, it, this is a conference supremacy game. These two teams are very evenly matched. It's a big game. 2 o'clock start time. On the Big 12 Network or ESPN Plus. How about Carson Strong and Nevada at Kansas State? Nevada two-point favorites. This is a huge game for Carson Strong and his draft stock. Kansas, 92 degrees and partly cloudy. Wow, that's very hot. But Carson Strong, big game for his draft stock. He's been mocked as high as number one overall in some of these mock drafts, so we'll have to see how well he performs in that one. A 2.30 start time, we've got Purdue at the University of Notre Dame. 89 degrees, completely sunny. Notre Dame about a touchdown favorite in that one. Notre Dame struggles last week against uh, Toledo, a max school. That was disappointing. We'll have to see if Jack Cohn and company can kind of get that running game going there for Notre Dame, taking on you know a Purdue team who is 2-0. They do have David Bell. They've got a veteran quarterback. It'll be an interesting game. I'll be paying attention to that one, no doubt. Moving on to the 330 window and the big one in the 330 window, it is Alabama, the number one overall team in the country traveling to Gainesville to take on Florida. I hope to see Anthony Richardson for Florida. He's better than Emory Jones. Let's just play him. Come on. Uh, This is 85 degrees and mostly cloudy there in Gainesville. Very hot one. Bryce Young starting off the season hot. Seven touchdowns in two games. Zero turnovers. Alabama, 14 and a half point favorites. That line moved down. They were 15 and a half point favorites. There's some money going in on Florida. People think Anthony Richardson is going to start. How about Anthony Richardson? 11 carries, 275 yards. Oh my goodness, folks. 330 game, Ken State at Iowa. That game will be in Iowa City, 87 degrees, completely sunny. And yes, I would expect Iowa to win this game pretty easily. How about Iowa? Fifth in the nation right now. 
What that's great for their program. Great for their program. 3:30 game. We've got Georgia Tech taking on Clemson. Clemson coming off their big win against SC State. They are 20 four touchdown favorites basically. 80 degrees and cloudy, maybe a little rain. Straight cloud coverage, very overclass, overclass, overcast, excuse me, in Clemson. Watch out for maybe a little rain. I don't know. I'd have to look that up. That'll be interesting. Uh, we've got Tulsa at Ohio State. Ohio State, disappointing loss last week. They're looking to get back on track. This line now down to 24 and a half. It was 26 and a half. The public is not impressed with this Ohio State defense. Neither am I. Uh, the Buckeyes looking to get on track against Tulsa. Now, Tulsa's a team, they, their starting quarterback hasn't thrown a touchdown pass yet this year. How about the weather in Columbus for a mid-afternoon start time? 87 degrees and partly cloudy. Moving on, another 3.30 game, SMU at Louisiana Tech. That game's 83 degrees and partly cloudy. Looks like, well, that's an interesting thing there. Uh, SMU 12 and a half point favorites in that one. Southern Methodist, a.k.a. Another 3.30 game, Florida State trying to get their first win, their first ACC game. They're taking on Wake Forest, who is 2-0. Wake Forest 5 and a half point favorites in that one. How about some rain? Oh, my goodness. I love the under. I love the under. The way the weather affects games, 83 degrees and rainy. Watch out there, guys. 3.30 game, Delaware at Rutgers. Rutgers looking to start 3-0 on the year. They're going to have a nice day. 84 degrees. They're at home. I expect an easy win over an FCS school, honestly. Uh, we've got Eastern Michigan taking on UMass. Eastern Michigan heavy favorites in this one. Eastern Michigan coming off that blow off lo blowout loss last week against Wisconsin. They were embarrassed. They're trying to get back on track. They're 22-point favorites. We've got another 3.30 time slot here. We've got Baylor at Kansas. A Big 12 matchup between two bottom-tier teams, although Baylor big favorites in this one, 18-point favorites. I'd expect Baylor to beat Kansas. Kansas is the worst FBS team in college, or the worst Power 5 team, excuse me, in college football. 3.30, Long Island University taking on Miami of Ohio. Miami of Ohio should be looking, both these teams looking to get their first win. I would expect a win for Miami of Ohio at home. A max school, they're in need of a win. We've got Bryant taking on Akron in a 3.30 prime time, time slot. ESPN3, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're watching. Akron, I would expect to win that game. Akron, big game next week, traveling to Columbus. Primetime 7.30 game next week against Ohio State. Going to be huge, guys. Another 3.30 game, Elon taking on Appalachian State. I'd expect a big win for Appalachian State. 75 degrees, mostly cloudy, maybe a little peekaboo of sunshine there. We don't really know yet. Guys, make sure you're tuning in, tuning in to ESPN Plus on that one. We've got Idaho taking on Oregon State. This is a doozy, folks. This is a doozy. 67 degrees. Very mild. I like that. I like the mildness there. 67 degrees. Idaho coming off that disappointing loss last week at Indiana. They're looking to get back on track, but I do think Oregon State should win that pretty handily. Another 330 game, USC. And they're, you know, with Clay Helton being fired, that'll be interesting. Taking on Washington State. And ladies and gentlemen, 60 degrees. That's the coldest game we've had yet. And rain. It'll be interesting to see what USC does. Clay Helton gets fired after two games after their disappointing loss to Stanford. Could be a possible prime upset opportunity for Washington State. We'll see how well they can put on there. Moving on, we've got Georgia Southern taking on the now 20th ranked team, Arkansas. I don't know how Arkansas is ranked 20th. I know they had a big win last week at home against Texas, but folks, it's a little bit of an overreaction. I do like KJ Jefferson. I really like KJ Jefferson. They are 23 and a half point favorites. How about 91 degrees and mainly sunny in Arkansas? A few little clouds peeking through. Moving on, this is a four o'clock start time now. Mississippi State in that air raid offense taking on Memphis. Oh my goodness, Calvin Austin, folks. Remember the name. What did he have, 250 yards last week? Memphis is just a great offensive team, really bad on defense. This should be a complete shootout. The over-under is 64. I would take the over, folks. It's going to be good. It's going to be 86 degrees. It's going to be humid. You're looking at good passing temperatures, mainly sunny, no rain. I like that. ESPN 2, 4 o'clock. Another 4 o'clock game, Northwestern at Duke. Yes, yes. This is going to be a low-scoring game. 
84 degrees, mostly sunny. Two very, you know, academic powerhouses. Houses. I love games like this. These are fundamentally sound teams. Maybe like a 17 to 10 type game. Love it. Another 4 o'clock game, Ball State. They will be traveling to Wyoming. And Josh Allen's alma mater, oh, count me in for this one. 77 degrees, mainly sunny. Wyoming, a touchdown favorite. Another 4 o'clock game, we've got Colorado State at Toledo. Toledo, 14 and a half point favorites in that one. The Grass Bowl. Oh my goodness, I love it there. There's no weather report. That's disappointing. Uh, moving on, we've got Sacramento State taking on California, looking for their first win at home. 74 degrees. Cal needs their first win. They should get it against an FCS school. And it is mainly sunny. How about a 415 start? I like this. I like what Washington's doing. They've got Arkansas State at home. Arkansas State moves at a rapid pace. They've got a crazy offense. Washington is 16 and a half point favorites coming off those two embarrassing losses to Michigan and Montana. They are 0 and 2. I expect them to get their first win. This is a Pac 12 exclusive broadcast. I certainly don't have the Pac 12 network. I only have the Big Ten network, folks. Uh, moving at 5 o'clock game. Murray State at Bowling Green. Oh, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. ESPN 3, a 6 o'clock start time, Middle Tennessee. At UTSA, uh, UTSA 12 and a half point favorites, and that one the Alamo Dome. So it's in a dome. No weather to worry about. Worry about there. Six o'clock start time. We've got Fordham taking on FAU or Florida Atlantic. Boca Raton, 92 degrees, mainly sunny. Six o'clock start time here. East Carolina. They will take on the thundering herd of Marshall. That game being played in West Virginia, mainly cloudy, maybe a little sun. We're getting kind of night games now. These are primetime games now. Marshall 10-point favorites in that one. I like the over for some reason. The over in this, I'm seeing a shootout. I like that a lot. That's a 6 o'clock game. How about Old Dominion taking on Malik Willis, potential first-round pick, and Liberty in Virginia at Liberty, 86 degrees, mainly sunny. Liberty, nearly four touchdown favorites. It's going to be interesting to see what Malik Willis do, does ESPN3 for that one. Moving on, the primetime games are here. We've got South Carolina at Georgia. Will JT Daniels play? Georgia, 31 and a half point favorites, 84 degrees in Athens and completely cloudy. You're not going to be seeing any stars in Athens on Saturday night. It's going to be completely overcast. Another 7 o'clock game, Charlotte at Georgia State. Uh, Georgia State, four-point favorites in that one. Over or under 63.5, cloudy and 82 degrees on, an, a little, on a nice little night there in Atlanta. Another 7 o'clock game. How about Florida International? They will be taking on Texas Tech. Texas Tech trying to improve to 3-0 and on the year. They are big 20-point favorites. 95 degrees in Lubbock. It's going to be a hot one, folks. It's going to be a hot one. Oh, my goodness. 7 o'clock start time. Troy at Southern Miss. 82 degrees and mainly cloudy. Troy, 10-point favorites in that one. How about Grambling at Houston? 88 degrees and, and mainly sunny. That's another 7 o'clock game. Florida A&M. At South Florida. Man, South Florida is terrible. I'm sorry. Looks like South Florida trying to get their first win of the season. They're going to have a really rough time once they hit conference play in the American Conference. They're a really bad team this year. 89 degrees and mainly cloudy. Maybe you'll see a little bit of sun. Maybe, you know, it's a 7 o'clock start. Nice little sunset. How about Incarnate War Word taking on Texas State? 94 degrees and mainly sunny. Oh, partly cloudy, I would say. Another 7 o'clock start time, Utah taking on San Diego State. Utah is in deep need of a win after their loss last week. They're 9.5 point favorites. They need to be careful on this game. Very careful. This is actually, I'm guessing, yes, it's in Carson, California. So that's a 4 o'clock local start time late afternoon. I love it. Over under 44. Give me the over. Give me the over on that one. Stony Brook. Taking on Oregon in Eugene. Can they pull off a major upset? We know Oregon coming off that very emotional win last week against Ohio State, the number four team in the nation. That game will be played in very seasonable conditions, 66 degrees and mainly cloudy. <coughs> Excuse me, there in Eugene. We've got the main primetime ABC broadcast. It is the University of Auburn at 
Penn State. Oh, I love Penn State minus six in this one. 76 degrees, mainly Claire there at Beaver Stadium. It's going to be a whiteout, guys. There's going to be a lot of snow in the stands with all the people wearing white. I love whiteouts. It's such a great atmosphere. We've got another 7.30 game. Virginia, who has surprisingly started 2-0, taking on North Carolina and Sam Howell. I love North Carolina in this game. They are nine-point favorites. 83 degrees there in Chapel Hill and mainly Claire. We've got another 7.30 game. Central Michigan taking on LSU. LSU, after a little bit of a disappointing performance last week against McNeese, they're taking on a Mac school now. The Mac school coming down to Louisiana, going down to Baton Rouge. 82 degrees, not terrible. Not extremely hot for this time of year. We'll have to see what Max Johnson, the young LSU quarterback, can do in that one. We've got another 7.30 game. UAB taking on North Texas. UAB 12-point favorites. I love North Texas plus 12 in this one. How about this? Sunny and 91 degrees. Completely clear skies. I love it. Love it. We've got another 7.30 game. We've got Furman taking on NC State. 85 degrees, mainly cloudy, mainly overcast on the night. How about Utah State at Air Force? Air Force, eight-point favorites. I love Utah State, plus eight in that one. 84 degrees in Colorado. That's a 5.30 local start. FS2, oh my goodness. FS2, not FS1, folks. Adjust accordingly. 8 o'clock, pure prime time, Tulane at Old Miss. That game's on ESPN2. That'll be a fun one. That should be high scoring. The over-under is 76. Oh, my goodness. Old Miss, 14-point favorites. 8 o'clock, we've got Stanford at Vanderbilt. Stanford coming off their huge win last week against USC. Trying to carry the momentum into Nashville at Vanderbilt. 86 degrees and mainly overcast. 8 o'clock, Rice at Texas. Texas, it was a disappointing loss last week. They should get back on track. Starting Casey Thompson instead of Hudson Carr. 92 degrees in Austin. A little bit overcast, mainly Claire. We'll have to see. Jackson State at UL Monroe. 88 degrees. We'll have to see what happens with that one. ESPN3 broadcast. Elkhorn State takes on South Alabama. That game is going to be played in thunderstorms, folks. In thunderstorms. That's a primetime thunderstorm, 82-degree game. South Carolina State, they will be looking to get back on track, taking on New Mexico State. The battle of the o, of the completely you know, defeated teams, 0-2 versus 0-3. That'll be interesting. 9 o'clock game, Oklahoma State at Boise State. I love Boise State in this one. Oklahoma State has not impressed at all. I know they're 2-0, but Boise State minus 3.5 is a really good play. 76 degrees, mainly overcast for a nightcap there in Boise. 10 o'clock, we've got Northern Illinois at, or excuse me, Northern Arizona at Arizona. This is a rivalry game. Huge rivalry. 100 degrees. Oh my goodness. That's a swelter, folks. That's a swelter. Arizona, they need to get back on track. They've lost like 11 straight games or something. 10-15 start time. I love these late games. Arizona State at BYU, and I love BYU this year. BYU plus three and a half. I think BYU wins this game outright over Arizona State and Jaden Daniels. 82 degrees and partly cloudy. We'll have to see what happens. How about Iowa State playing at 10.30 at night going to UNLV and Las Vegas? Wow. I did not expect to see that. Iowa State, after their disappointing loss to Iowa in a rivalry game, they're 30 and a half point favorites in this one. Make sure you tune in to CBS Network on that at 10.30. We've got a 10.45 game here, folks. Fresno State at the very hyped up UCLA. This is a very interesting game. Fresno State kept it close week one at Oregon. This will really show us how good Fresno State is. They're taking on UCLA. Decent line for Fresno State. UCLA only 11 half point, 11 and a half point favorites. How about the Rose Bowl? 79 degrees and completely clear. And guys, how could we forget? 12.30 a.m., basically football Sunday at this point. We've got, this is primetime, San Jose State and Hawaii in Honolulu, Hawaii. And we've got a mixture, it looks like, when it comes to the weather here. 87 degrees, we've got a little sun maybe early, and then the rainstorms come in. Crazy weather there in Honolulu, 87 degrees. Absolutely primetime game there. Make sure you tune in. FS1, 12.30 a.m. Sunday morning to kick off your NFL Sunday with a little bit of college football, guys. 
That is going to do it for this preview of week three. Those are all the games I just went over. Guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.